section 13.4 disorders of the respiratory system disorders of the nose the common cold is a viral upper respiratory infection URI it is contagious but transmitted from person to person in airborne droplets from coughing and sneezing there's no proven effective treatment did you know in a deviated nasal septum the partition between the two nostrils is pushed to one side leading to partially obstructed airway in one nostril rhinitis is an inflammation of the nasal mucosa usually viral in origin it's also called corza or corza Allergic rhinitis affects 15 to 20 percent of the population. There is swelling of the mucous membranes of the nose, pharynx, and sinuses with a clear watery discharge. Sinitis is an infection of the paranasal sinuses, often following a cold. The infection can be bacterial, producing a mucopurulent discharge from the nose. Treatment with antibiotics and decongestants may be indicated. Epistaxis is bleeding from the septum of the nose, usually from trauma. Disorders of the pharynx. 25% uh, of normal adults are habitual snorers. The condition is most frequent in overweight males, and it becomes, it becomes worse with age. The noises of snoring are made at the back of the mouth and nose where the tongue and upper pharynx meet, the soft palate, and uvula. When there's an obstruction to the free flow of air, these structures hit each other and the vibration produces the sounds of snoring. Obstruction sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea occurs when obstruction by the soft tissue at the back of the nose and mouth causes frequent episodes of gasping for breath followed by complete cessation of breathing apnea. These episodes of apnea can last for 10 to 30 seconds and occur many times every hour of sleep. The episodes reduce the level of O2 in the blood, hypoxia, hypoxemia, hypox, hypoxemia, causing the heart to pump harder. After several years with this problem, hypertension and cardiac enlargement can occur. Pharyngitis is an acute chronic infection involving the pharynx, tonsils, and uvula. It is usually the viral origin in children. Tonsillitis is an infection of the tonsils in the oropharynx by a virus or, um, or in less than 20% of cases, a streptococcus. Nasal pharyngeal carcinoma is a rare form of cancer that occurs mostly in males between the ages of 50 and 60. Disorders of the larynx. Laryngitis is inflammation of the mucosal lining of the larynx, producing hoarseness and sometimes progressing to loss of voice, aphonia. Epiglottis is inflammation of the epiglottis. Epiglottitis? Epiglottitis? Titus? Epiglottitis. Epiglottitis is inflammation of the epiglottis. Acute epiglottitis is typically seen in children between ages 2 and 7 and is caused by Haemophilus influenza type B bacteria. Swelling in the epiglottis can cause acute airway obstruction. It is preventable with an available vaccine. All right, Laryn laryngotracheobronchitis, commonly referred to as CRIP or LTB.
Laryngotracheobronchitis. Laryngotracheobronchitis. Commonly referred to as croup, is a viral respiratory infection in children aged three months to five years. It causes inflammation and obstruction of the upper airway. It produces a characteristic cough that sounds like a seal barking. In severe cases, the child makes a high-pitched, squeaky, inspiration noise called strider. Papillomas or laryngeal polyps are benign tumors of the larynx that result from overuse or irritation. Carcinoma of the larynx produces a persistent hoarseness. Its incidence peaks in smokers in their 50s and 60s. Okay, apnea. Absence of spontaneous respiration. Aphonia is loss of voice. Phone is voice. Hypoxemia, decreased levels of oxygen in the blood. Anoxia, complete deprivation of oxygen supply. Coryza, viral inflammation of the mucous membrane in the nose. Epiglottitis, inflammation of the epiglottis. Epistaxis is a nosebleed. Laryngitis, inflammation of the larynx. Laryngotracheobronchitis, inflammation of the larynx, trachea, and bronchi. Mucopurulent, or purulent, mucopurulent, mixture of pus and mucus. Pharyngitis. Inflammation of the pharynx, polysomnography, test to monitor brain waves, muscle tension, eye movement, oxygen levels in the blood as the patient sleeps. Rhinitis, inflammation of the nasal mucosa. Sinitis, inflammation of the lining of the sinus. Snore, noise produced by vibrations in the structures of the nasal pharynx. Tonsillitis is inflammation of the tonsils. Disorder of the lower respiratory tract. Common signs and symptoms of respiratory disorders. First, coughing is triggered by irritants in the respiratory tract. You close the glottis and contract the muscles of expiration to develop high pressure in the lower tract. Then you suddenly open the glottis to release explosive blasts of air. The irritants can be cigarette smoke, infection, or tumors, as in lung cancer. A productive cough produces a septum that can be swallowed or exporated or ex expectorated. Bloody sputum is called hemoptysis. Thick yellow purulent sputum indicates infection. And non-productive cough is dry and hacky. Abnormal amounts of expectorated clear mucus are called phlegm. Alright. Second common sign is dyspnea or a shortness of breath. SOB can be on exertion or in severe disorders at rest when all respiratory muscles can exchange only a small volume of air. Dyspnea, dyspnea can result from airway obstruction. Wheezing associated with dyspnea is the sound of air being forced through constricted airways as in asthma. Dyspnea also can be produced by fibrosis of lung tissues. When the lungs compliance is reduced, compliance is the ability of the lungs to expand on inspiration. Cyanosis is seen when the blood has increased levels of unoxygenated hemoglobin, which has a characteristic dark gray blue color. Color. The color is best seen in the lips, mucous membranes, and nail beds where there is no skin pigmentation to mask it. Peripheral cyanosis occurs when there is peripheral vasoconstriction. The reduced flow allows hemoglobin to yield more of its O2, leading to increased unoxygenated hemoglobin. And all right, cyanosis. So then, central cyanosis occurs when, with inadequate blood oxygenation in the lungs as a result of impaired airflow or impaired blood flow through the lungs. Central cyanosis is detected by examining the color of the lips, gums, and tongue. Changes in rate breathing. 
The eupnea is the normal, easy, automated respiration around 15 breaths per minute in a resulting adult. Both tachymia, uh, tachymia, P N E A, okay, T A C H Y, P N E A, tachymia, tachymia. <laughs> okay, rapid rate of breathing and hypernia. Breathing deeper and more rapidly than normal are signs of respiratory difficulty as in bradynia, slow breathing. Sneezing is caused by irritants in the nasal cavity. The glottis stays open while the soft palate and tongue block the flow of air from getting out. Then they suddenly release to let air burst out through the nose. So, bradypnea. 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 All right, Nia means breathe. Brady is slow. So slow breathing. Compliance. A measure of the capacity of a chamber or hollow vis viscous to expand. In this case, the lungs. Cyanosis. Mm. Blue discoloration of the skin, lips, and nail beds due to low levels of oxygen in the blood. Cyanotic, uh, marked by cyanosis. Dyspnea. 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 Difficulty breathing. Eupnea. Eupnea. Yipnea, normal breathing. Expectorants. Expectorate. Expectorate. Cough up and spit out mucus from the respiratory tract. Hemoptysis. Hemoptysis is bloody sputum. Hyperpnea. Hyperpnea, deeper and more rapid breathing than normal. Phlegm. Phlegm. Greek for flame, abnormal amounts of mucus expectoriated from the respiratory tract. Sputum, matter coughed up and spat out by individuals with respiratory disorders. Tachypnea. Tachypnea, rapid breathing. Acute bronchitis can be viral or bacterial, leading to the production of excess mucus with some obstruction of airflow. A single episode revolves without significant residual damage to the airway. Chronic bronchitis is the most common obstructive disease due to cigarette smoking or repeated episodes of acute bronchitis. In addition to excess mucus production, cilia are destroyed. A pattern develops involving chronic cough, sputum production, dyspnea, and recurrent acute infections. In advanced chronic bronchitis, hypoxia and hypercapnia develop and heart failure follows. Bronchiolitis, inflammation of the small airway bronchioles occurs in the adult as the early and often unrecognized beginning of airway changes in cigarette smokers or those exposed to secondhand smoke, inhaling the smoke produced by other people's cigarettes. Bronchiolitis affects children under the age of two because their small airways become blocked very easily. The disease is viral and in several cases can cause marked respiratory distress withdrawing in of the neck and intercostal spaces of the chest with each breath known as retractions. Pulmonary emphysema is a disease of the respiratory bronchioles and alveoli. These airways become enlarged and the septa between Hello, the alveoli. Hi guys again. Uh, septa between alveoli are destroyed forming large sacs full eye. There is a loss of surface area for gas exchange. 
because the septa contain elastic tissue that assists the lungs recoil and exhalation. Recoil becomes more difficult and air is trapped in the bullae. This leads to hyperinflation of the lungs. An enlarged barrel chest shown by many patients with emphysema. Chronic airway obstruction, CAO, is also called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD is a progressive disease. It involves both chronic bronchitis and emphysema, a history of heavy cigarette smoking with chronic cough and sputum production is followed by exer exertional dyspnea. By the time Mr. Jacobs' dyspnea was severe, irreversible lung damage had led to emphysema, recurrent infections, and episodes of respiratory insufficiency. The insufficiency became permanent and supplementary O2 is now necessary round the clock. Right-sided heart failure, col pulmonal, is the end result of pulmonary hypertension and blood backing into the right ventricle. I think this is supposed to be healthy, possibly, and not healthy. Whoa. Oof. Okay, non-smoker's lungs, smoker's lungs. Bronchiectasis is the abnormal dilation of the small bronchioles due to repeated infections. The damaged dilated bronchi are unable to clear secretions, so additional infections and more damage can occur. Bronchial asthma is a disorder with recurrent acute episodes of bronchial obstruction as a result of constriction of bronchioles bronchoconstriction, hypersecretion of mucus, inflammatory swelling of the bronchiolar lining, the airflow obstruction, the airflow obstruction these produce is mainly during expiration and the wheezing exhalation heard in asthma is the result of forcing air out of the lungs through constricted swollen bronchioles. Between attacks, breathing can be normal. The etiology of asthma is an allergic response to substances such as pollen, animal dander, or the feces of house dust mites. Cystic fibrosis, CF, is caused by an increased viscosity of secretions from the pancreas, salivary glands, liver, intestine, and lungs. In the lungs, a particular thick mucus obstructs the airways and causes repeated infections. Uh, respiratory failure is the cause of death. Often before the age 30, the disorder is genetic. Pulmonary edema is the collection of fluid in the lung tissues and alveoli. It is most frequently the result of left ventricular failure or mitral valve disease with congestive heart failure, CHF. Non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema can result from sepsis, renal failure, disseminated intravascular coagulation, DIC, and opiate or barbiturate poisoning. Asthma. Episodes of breathing difficulty due to narrowed or obstructed airways, asthmatic, adjective, pertaining to or suffering from asthma. Bronchiectasis, chronic dilation of the bronchi following inflammatory disease and obstruction. Bronchiolitis, inflammation of the small bronchioles. Bulla, Latin for bubble, bubble like dilated structure. Bully, plural for bulla. Core pulmonal bully. Core pulmonal bully. 
right-sided heart failure arising from chronic lung disease, cystic fibrosis, genetic disease in which excessive viscous muscle, uh, genetic disease in which excessive viscid mucus obstructs passages, obstructs passages, uh, including bronchi. Emphysema, dilation of respiratory bronchioles and alveoli. <laughs> okay, emphysema is dilation of respiratory bronchioles and alveoli. Hypercapnia, abnormal increase of carbon dioxide in the arterial bloodstream. Hyperinflation, over distension of pulmonary alveoli with air resulting from airway obstruction. Hypersecretion, excessive secretion of mucus or enzymes or waste products. Hypoxia, decrease below normal levels of oxygen in tissues, gases, or blood. Hypoxic, adjective, deficient in oxygen. And retraction, a pulling back as a pulling back of the intercostal spaces and the neck above the clavicle. Disorders of the lower respiratory tract continued. All right, pneumonia is an acute infection affecting the alveoli and lung parenchyma. Bacterial infections focus on the alveoli. Viral infections on the pericoma. Lobar pneumonia is an infection limited to one lung or lobe. Bronchopneumonia is used to describe an infection in the bronchioles that spreads to the alveoli. It says a normal lung appears. So chest x-ray patient with pneumonia in the left lung. A normal lung appears as mostly black space with some lung markings on an x-ray because its spongy structure is filled with air. In contrast, a mnemonic lung appears white or opaque on an x-ray as a result of accumulation of fluids and cells in the alveoli. When an area of the lung or segment or a lobe becomes airless as a result of the infection, the lung is consolidated. When an area of the lung collapses as a result of bronchial obstruction, the condition is called uh, at atelectasis. Pleurisy and inflammation of the pleury can be a complication of pneumonia. This condition is very painful on breathing. The inflammation often leads to an exudate accumulating in the pleural cavity, a pleural effusion. If the pleural effusion contains pus, it's called empyema, pyothorax. If it contains blood, it is called a hemothorax. Lung abscess can be a complication of bacterial pneumonia or cancer. Long-term antibiotics are used and surgical resection of the abscess may be required. Pneumothorax is the entry of air into the pleural cavity. The cause can be unknown, spontaneous pneumo pneumothorax, but it often results from trauma when fractured rib, knife blade, or bullet lacerates the parietal pleura. There are no lung markings seen in the area of the pneumothorax. Okay. Thrombic embolism is caused by caused by an embolus, usually rising arising in the deep vein or the calf and lodging in a branch of the pulmonary artery 
The symptoms are chest pain, dyspnea, tachy tachypnea, increased respiratory rate, and a reduction in blood O2 levels. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, syndrome ARDS, is sudden life-threatening lung failure cause, caused by a variety of underlying conditions from major trauma to sepsis. The alveoli fill with fluid and collapse and gas exchange is shut down. Hypoxia results. Mechanical ventilation has to be provided. Provided The mortality is from 35% to 50%. Neonatal respiratory distress syndrome, NRDS, is seen in premature babies whose lungs have not matured enough to produce a surfacant. The alveoli collapse. The mechanical ventilation is needed to keep them open. Chronic infections of the lung. Parenchy parenchyma are the results of prolonged exposure to infection or to occupational irritant dusts or droplets. These disorders are called pneumono or pneumoconiosis. Levels of dust inhalation overwhelm the airways. Particle clearing abilities. Oh. Levels of dust inhalation overwhelm the airway's particle clearing abilities. The dust particles accumulate in the alveoli and parenchyma, leading to fibrosis. Asbestos, asbestosis from inhaling asbestos part particles can lead to cancer, mesothelioma in the pleura. Silicosis from inhaling silica particles is called stone mason's lungs. Uh, atherocosis from inhaling coal dust particles is called coal miner's lung. Sarcoidosis is an idiopathic fibrotic disorder of the lung parenchyma. Pulmonary or pulmonary tuberculosis is a chronic infectious disease of the lungs. Lung cancer related to tobacco use used to be a male disease, but now fatalities in women from lung cancer exceed those from breast cancer. 90% of lung cancers arise in the mucous membranes of the larger bronchi and are called bronchogenic carcinomas. The tumor obstructs the bronchus, spreads into the surrounding lung tissues, and, metata and metastasizes to the lymph nodes, liver, brain, and bone. Acute respiratory failure, ARF, is normally is ab is abnormal respiratory function resulting in inadequate tissue oxygenation or CO2 elimination that is severe enough to impair vital organ functions. Causes of ARF include congestive heart failure, CHF, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, chest trauma with resultant flail chest, spinal cord injury, and neuromuscular disorders in which the muscles of respiration are weak or paralyzed. All right. Anthracosis, uh, anthrac meaning coal, is a lung disease caused by the inhalation of coal dust. Asbestosis, lung disease caused by the inhalation of asbestos particles. Abscess, Latin, a going way, a collection of pus surrounded by infected tissue that is swollen and inflamed. Adelectasis is a collapse of part of a lung. Um, bronchogenic, arising uh, from a bronchus. Bronchopneumonia, acute inflammation in the walls of smaller bronchioles with spread to lung parenchyma. Consolidate, making firm or solid. Consolidated, an aerated tissue that has become firm or solid. Consolidation, the area of solid tissue that once, that was once aerated. Effusion, Latin for pouring out. Collection of fluid that has escaped from blood vessels into a cavity or tissues. Epyema. Oh, empyema. Pus in a body cavity, particularly in the pleural cavity. Pyothorax. Empyema in a pleural cavity. Flail chest. Flail means it's Old English flapping chest, Greek for basket, hamper. 
Uh, flail chest is condition in which three or more consecutive ribs have been fractured, resulting in uncontrolled movement of the segment of the chest. Hemothorax is blood in the pleural cavity. Idiopa idiopathic is pertaining to a disease of unknown etiology. Mesothelioma, cancer arising from the cells lining the pleura. Peritoneum. Pleurisy, inflammation of the pleura. Pleuritic, pertaining to pleurisy. Pneumoconiosis, fibrotic lung disease caused by the inhalation of different dusts. Pneumonia, inflammation of the lung, parenchyma. And then pneumonitis is a synonym for pneumonia. Pneumothorax is air in the pleural cavity. Sarcoidosis is granulomatous lesions of the lungs and other organs causes unknown. Silicosis is fibrotic lung disease from inhaling silica particles. Thrombolism, excuse me, thromboembolism a piece of detached blood clot embolus blocking a distant blood vessel. Mm, tuberculosis, infectious disease that can infect any organ or tissue.